to my channel today we are going to be making sea kebab but before we start please subscribe because if you subscribe it will make me happy and i can make more quality and interesting tasty recipes so please subscribe comment share and like this recipe also so today we are making yummy and delicious sea kebab so let's start making it over here I have two pounds of ground beef. I dried up all the moisture, removed it, I drained all the moisture. And right here I have a chopped up onions, one medium sized onion. I also removed the moisture from the onions. And the reason I did this is because uh, if there's any moisture in the ground beef, you're gonna break the sea kebab and it's gonna be a disaster. So you want to remove all the moisture. So that's why I chopped it in the blender and then removed all the moisture. So I'm going to add my onion. And I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. I also removed as much moisture as I can. 1 tablespoon of coriander powder. I'm going to add it into my ground beef. 1 tablespoon of crushed red pepper. I'm going to add it into this. And I added one tablespoon of coriander seed. Half teaspoon of red chili powder. But if you want, you can add one if you like to eat spicy food. And half teaspoon of garam masala. Put in a half teaspoon of salt because salt adds taste. Now I'm over my gloves so I can mix it and after that I'm going to put them into my food processor yeah. so I can chop it. Yeah. Right here I have mixed with my ground beef and now I'm going to add this to my food processor. It is already a ground beef but I'm going to chop it a little bit more so that I can easily make my sea kebab. There are two pounds in this, right? But I'm going to split them into half so that the, it can be easier for the food processor to run. So now I'm going to blend it. Look at this, look how finely this is, you can see, as you can see. And now I'm, I'm going to take this out in a separate plate. I'm going to add my other half or other one pound into this. To be making the sea kebab, you will need scores. Right here I have a flat score. I have a flat score, right? I'm going to dip my hand into this. And then you want to put on the score. And then you want to just press it. And try to make it long, uh, but not too long, but make it as long. I already made it long, now it's time to take it out. Look how easily it came out. And Now we're gonna do that for the rest. And I'm gonna see you after I'm done making all of this kebab. So these are my sea kebab. This is the final art. This is how it looks right now. Into the pan, I'm gonna add two to three tablespoons of oil. Medium heat, I'm gonna gently place the sea kebab into the pan. In a minute or two, I'm gonna flip it over. So now it's been two minutes, and I'm gonna cook it on all four of the sides, the top, bottom, sides, both sides. So I'm gonna flip this one. This one. So now I'm gonna be cooking it from the side. So now my sea kebabs are done, and right here I have a platter. So this is done as you can see, right? So we're gonna dish this one out and put this on top of our salad. Now look how nice it looks. Now we're gonna do the rest for all of it. So here my sea kebab. 
I just decorated them with all my vegetables like spinaches, tomatoes, some lemons and onions. It smells super good. It tastes really good. I've tasted them. If you like this recipe, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.